Hey everybody, my Conova upgrade kit finally came in the mail today. Um, I spoke with uh, Frank, I believe his name was, uh, and he said ordering from Conova directly was faster than ordering from Amazon, um, and he was pretty much correct. I got this in about two to three days, um, so I'm really pleased with the shipping. And uh, so I guess the reason why I bought this was I, I have a old Canova slider and I had no idea they had upgrade options and I really wanted to have a more smoother uh, slide and you know mine's been really choppy lately. And I really couldn't afford the bigger motorized options um, so I was really happy that Canova made a hand crank version. Now they do have a motorized version but that's about $800 give or take and uh, again that was way over my budget. And these two items here, the upgrade kit and the hand crank, uh, was approximately two hundred and fifty-six dollars, uh, give or take. So, it was well within my budget. So as you can see, this is my slider here, uh, and you can tell that these are the older model because of the feet. The uh, this is the older feet right here. They don't. It's not the newer feet with the red items and. Also, if you notice, there isn't a groove here. This is the older uh, the ends. The upgrade kit essentially upgrades the feet and the ends to handle the crank. And that upgrade kit runs about $56. The upgrade kit also upgrades uh, the center panel so it can hold the um, piece that will actually move this when you crank it. And again, uh, Canova has, it's kind of confusing on the website, you have the K60, 80, 100, K2, K3. And for the most part, uh, these are these are K2 models. I, I bought this a while back, and you can kind of tell the K2s have smaller bearings. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. They have smaller bearings, and um, you know, mine was the 1 meter or 100 centimeters version. Uh, if you measure it, it's actually a little bit under 100 centimeters is about 92 give or take from end to end so I, I asked the, the customer service rep and I said well it's 92 do I go to 80 or do I go to 100 and he said for sure go to the 100 and here's the packaging for the upgrade kit and uh, you know, it comes with these its pouches again for the feet here's a new set of feet a really nice metal and they match my kit really nicely. The, the bottom bearings of the feet on the website, it's, it looks like rubber on some shots, but it's actually a, you know, a hard piece of plastic. Um, actually, could be wrong, it's actually a very, very hard piece of rubber. Um, it's definitely not metal. And uh, it was designed to cling on to surfaces. And it comes with the the middle railing uh, with the hole there, so you can attach the gears. And here's the here are the ends. As you can see, there's grooves here, and it comes with screws. Let's put this bad boy together. So I'm going to start by removing uh, the feet of the old one. Fairly straightforward. I want to remove these, and I don't know. Okay, I see. It's really dark here, but there is a, a an Allen wrench on these three holes, and you pretty much unscrew these, and uh, they should detach. It should be noted that the upgrade kit comes with the Allen wrench, um, so you can unscrew the old one. They're bolted in pretty tight so you have to give it a, a good tug. It should also be known that the uh, package comes with two sizes of screws and two different allen wrenches. The larger one goes towards the the end units and the smaller ones go into the centerpiece. Um, I made the mistake of putting the smaller ones in the ends and that did not work out too well. So before I screw the other ends, I wanted to do a comparison piece. 
Uh, here's the old one, and as you can tell, I actually do like it because there's a rubber into it, and the new one is just, you know, pure machine metal. Uh, it's definitely very, very solid. Sorry, I gotta focus here. Um, it's definitely much smaller. And uh, I actually tried moving this rubber piece out to this end, but it, it doesn't work because uh, this piece is glued on essentially, and the screws are actually of a, a different size as well. So you have to use the um, the new screws that came with it. The trick to screwing these in is, you know, you want to tighten it so this piece does not wiggle at all. There's no wiggle room uh, because if it shakes just a little bit, then uh, that means you haven't tightened it enough. So it's it's pretty solid. It's on pretty solid right now. So I think these bo both of these ends are done. Okay, so the, for the holes in the center, um, the Allen wrenches that came with the upgrade kit do not fit. You're going to have to find uh, the original Allen wrenches that came with your K2 or K3 slider in order to loosen them up and replace the centerpiece. So the new end pieces have these uh, two plastic pieces here that slide uh, towards the side and it screws in um, like so. And uh, these are these legs are actually way better than the other legs because the other ones um, used to fit in these holes and they would always tend to rotate a lot uh, if you don't screw those down tight enough and I mean regardless of how much you screw them in they they will rotate whereas these these will pretty much stay put and uh, if you want to adjust the angles of the legs you unscrew this. And if you can see that there's these grooves, you know, it's like a transformer toy. These grooves will lock in place so they would be even for the most part. You can make sure that they're in the right position. And, uh, I mean, I really like the new legs. They actually make using legs useful. And with this lever here, you can adjust the height of the rubber ball on the bottom. So I've screwed the new base in place. Um, I have reused the old screws from the previous base and uh, I don't know what these are for then. Um, the packaging does not come with instructions so I'm just gonna put those back away because everything is in order. Sliding the ends in place is relatively straightforward. Um, the rubber is a little bit loose, but I think that's intended. And what I like is the crank is smooth. You can adjust it. You hear that sound? It's pretty much expected that this paint is going to chip off. But uh, this makes it more smoother. You can see. The only thing I don't like about it is you will lose about uh, four inches. Notice it can't go anymore. If you adjust it smaller, you're still pretty much going to lose the end regardless. So if you have a slider that's you know 100 centimeters or actually 90 centimeters give or take you're going to probably lose about 10 of them so if you know you have a k260 it's really going to become a k250 once you install this hand crank but i uh, really look forward to playing with it seems to slide a bit more smoother than when i do it by hand